Why? Why is this happening? Owner, I mean Luther. Now do you understand? Stop this right now! Blair? So you led them here. Your defiance knows no bounds, my sister. Brother and sister? The owner is Blair's brother? So Blair is the owner's sister. The life forms bond within the Eternal Sphere have attained a level of intellectual development that rivals our own. It's time to let them go their own way. You're kidding me. They're nothing but data. The cosmos of the Eternal Sphere is a toy. It's just a game! Now that they've developed minds equal to our own, how are they any different from us? The evidence is clear. It's getting harder and harder to interfere in their dimension as we please. Doesn't that prove that they've become equals? That they deserve to live? But they've gained the power to cross into our own dimension and inflict harm on us. Such dangerous entities cannot be ignored. They didn't appear in our dimension until you tried to destroy theirs. In my mind, they've done nothing wrong by coming here to stop you. What are you talking about? The very existence of entities like these is causing massive bugs in the Eternal Sphere itself. Tell me what's wrong with eliminating flawed code. Flawed code? Sure, we might be entities created by your hand, but that doesn't give you the right to decide everything. We deserve the right to live and die on our own! This is ridiculous. You're nothing more than a collection of zeros and ones. No matter what the real truth is, the fact is, we have thoughts and feelings of our own. We want to save our dimension and everyone in it. She's right. We've come all this way thanks to the thoughts and feelings of countless people. Allowing you to erase us would betray them all. Thoughts and feelings? What rubbish! Your thoughts and feelings are nothing more than fabrications modeled on our own! Luther, you still don't get it, do you? Shut up already, Blair! It's you who doesn't understand. No matter how high a level of existence they try to reach, there's still nothing but fabrications. Data should obey the will of their creator and submit to deletion. Don't mess with us. We won't give up. Don't think everything will go your way. We're not your toys. This can't be. I'm the creator. Why is this happening? Luther, stop this right now. Hurry, everyone. Get the Eternal Sphere back up. I'll try to fill in the gaps the best I can. This makes no sense. How could this happen to me? How could I be surpassed by my own creations? Now I see. It's because 
I took the easy way out by only erasing the problematic data. If the viruses are working together to create their own data, then I should delete everything! Luther? <laughs> That's it! I won't stop with the Milky Way galaxy. I'll completely delete all the data linked to the Eternal Sphere. That will completely eliminate these viruses, too. <laughs> it's so simple. Why didn't I think of it before? No more of your silly tricks. I'll delete the whole universe! <laughs> what are you doing? You are putting yourself in great danger by trying this while you're still projected into the Eternal Sphere. Luther, don't do it! <laughs> die, 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 die! Be gone, everyone and everything! Righteousness shall prevail! Be careful!
1, the Andromeda Galaxy. Erased. IC-1613. Erased. NGC-6822. Erased! At this rate, everything will be deleted. Our universe is vanishing before our eyes. It is. Oh no. Do you think that maybe we were too late? I wonder what's going to happen. Just believe. Just believe that we exist here and now. You're right. We're not just mere data that someone created. Mm hmm Just because we were told to accept deletion doesn't mean we have to give up. No way! That's right, Sophia. Choose to live! And left. Everything has completely vanished. Life, air, even my own body no longer exists. Absolute nothingness. Hmm? Nothingness? So nothing really exists anymore? But if that were true, then what about this thought? This thought is real, and I am aware of this thought. So, there is something left. There has to be. That means that I'm still alive. Welcome back, Faith. Hey! Well, it's about time. What took you so long? Welcome back, Fate. Hey, guys. Took you long enough. Yeah. I see you guys are okay, too. What a relief. You mind explaining what happened? Have we been erased? All that we can see in our dimension, and everything we can touch, it's all been a fabrication created for us to perceive. And now Luther has disabled our perception of such things, effectively erasing them from existence. 
Without perception, there is no existence. And yet, even though everything around us was an illusion, I'm positive that our minds, which perceive that dimension, really do exist. You're right. No matter what Luther claims, our minds are the only things that were real. That's exactly why Luther was unable to erase our consciousness. He merely deleted all the illusions around us. Doing so could not possibly erase that which actually exists outside of his creation. So, you're saying Luther never acknowledged our existence? Does his failure to do so explain why we still exist here? Maybe. Strictly speaking, the universe as we know it most likely no longer exists. Nevertheless, we still feel its existence in our minds. If everyone in that universe still feels like we do right now, then that universe really does exist. No matter what really happened. This is quite the philosophical conundrum. Does it really matter? Haven't we taken care of everything? If we have, then let's just leave it at that. Good point. We exist here, and so does the universe. And that's enough. Let's go. Let's go back to where we belong. Yeah, let's go, Fate. To our... to everyone's universe. <laughs>